Right, so as an extrovert, I have a wide variety of friends. I've got the alphas, the betas, smart friends, not so smart friends, gay friends, straight friends, posh friends, poor friends. But the most underrated one, hands down, has to be the nerdy friends. The nerds. Now I'm not just talking about nerds here, guys. I'm talking about the fucking nerds. I mean, so nerdy, it's like, how? Fucking, how did you lose your virginity? And it had to be consensual because someone as weedy as you could never force yourself on anyone. <laughs> Well, that's who we're hanging out with today. None of these guys are virgins. <laughs> None of them. None I know, them. right? <laughs> Recently, two buddies of mine, Liam and Tom, and a third guy, Jason, still haven't met him yet. They got together to set up an arcade at the back of a pub. Sea Stick Arcade. A room full of old school TVs and retro consoles. Today is their opening day, so... I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out. I just wanted to be able to share that passion with other people and like show off this collection. Now, I don't take the nerdy friends for granted because they're always there for me whenever my shit breaks down. If my computer breaks, Liam is the guy sorting out. No joke, I owe him a lot. So, um, yeah, I'm gladly gonna return the favor and support them in their endeavors today. Just behind there, just grabbing a game mat at the moment. But I see the look. Yo, Tom! <laughs> there he is! And uh, Jason will be here in a bit. I'm no C, brother! Sound. Thanks, Thanks for years. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to do what I'm doing. When's the other guy getting on? Who's the third guy? That's the third guy. That's Jason. Oh, shit, Jason. Nice yeah, to man. meet you. I'm Badger. You alright, mate? Yeah, man. Should we play Star Wars? Yeah, sure. <laughs> You know I want to play Star Wars. I haven't played this in decades. Jesus. <laughs> oh, look, it's Luke Skywalker. What we didn't know is one day he'd become a pussy and try and kill his own nephew. Oh, dude. To coincide with the PlayStation 2 release of Resident Evil 4. Just wait till you see what it does. Be a terrible controller. <laughs> <laughs> That's the start button. You've got to pull it. What? Well, you got to pull this in order to start it. Vibrating like hell, man. Yeah, but that means that literally you always have to do that in order to play the game. You get like carpal tunnel or something, man. See if you do better than me than trying to kill the first ever me. Get it? Oh shit! I feel like I've accomplished something. Did you actually do it? Yeah. <laughs> so your fingers are in there as well? Yeah. Like pushing buttons. Oh my god, oh, what the f- how do you- it's impossible. <laughs> but that feels fun, doesn't it? It does feel fun. But what a way to pause the game. Uh, <laughs> the historic artifact you've probably longed over for years. Yeah. And you finally get to play it, it's awesome. 150, man, come on. I need a little bit of a pussy. 150. Uh, yeah, I'll join you. I'll join you. Oh, yeah. It's Waluigi or Go Home. <laughs> I haven't played this in so long, man. I haven't played this in about 14 years, maybe. 14? Uh, ever since the Wii version of Mario Kart came out, I didn't bother with any. Hey, tell me you've got time to play this game, man. Time what, two and future perfect? <laughs> you know I've got the time splitters games. Oh. <laughs> time splitters is the one. Dude, time splitters yeah, two is my religion. Yes, I feel the need yes, to turn this off right now and just, I play games yeah. there. <laughs> Please get time splitters two. Time splitters two or three? Two, 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 two. I would love you forever. I can't believe he's getting this, man. <laughs> oh, yes. Dude, these were the days, man. Capture the bag. Bag tag. Uh, 
Oh, I'm in love right now, man. They need to do a new version of this game, I'm telling you. They are. When? Bullshit. Oh, no, um, David Doak and Stephen Ellis are actually doing it. Because they time source got bought up by THQ Nordic. Yeah, dude, this is so fucking badass. This is great. I'm in love with this. Um, oh shit. Oh shit. Um, yeah, suck it. Oh my god, this. Goldeneye. Right, you know what made this game special for me when I was a kid? It was the simple fact that you could pick up the enemy's guns after you killed them. Yeah, you could. That was a big deal to me back then, man. You run over people and spire them. Oh, the fucking sound effects, man. Which is the one I said that he's going to be doing interviews with us as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice yeah. 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 Have you got my smooth bald head in there? Yes. It's beautiful, isn't it? Say it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Alright, <laughs> right, gentlemen, congrats on all this. Thank you. Thank so, you very much. So, what made three nerds want to get all of their TVs and consoles together and set up here in a pub? Um, so it's just a random idea we came up with. I've always been really like passionate about business, yeah, and I I've, always, yeah, I've yeah. always wanted to set up like a sort of cafe theme, Ma mainly with motorbikes. But I've always loved video games as well. And I got chat to Liam, and I've been sat on a massive stockpile of consoles. Uh, <laughs> so I've got technically I've got everything back to '82. Um, don't have everything with us today. Um, but yeah, just wanted to be able to share that passion with other people and like show off this collection. Yeah. They asked me and I said no, and then I came back about a week later. <laughs> <laughs> like it. And that's it. It's as, uh, as somebody who has travelled around the country to go to retro video game events, I think I just couldn't turn down the opportunity to actually do one myself. Ah, I fucking love it. Do you know where you guys want to take it for a bit? Um, so we're going to keep doing pop-up events for now, see how it goes, yeah. gauge the interest, and then eventually, maybe, Cafe. Everyone should dream big. Mm, I think, yeah, get a cafe in the room. Cafe, in, like, yeah, so on the cafe side. tables, potentially then start evolving maybe into things, I don't know, arcade cabinets would be pretty cool. Um, and then start evolving from there. Okay. So, how long are you guys going to be keeping this up for? Uh, so, this one's running for the weekend. Um, and then, hopefully, going to be able to arrange some more pop ups um, and just go from there, really. And if the interest stays high, then eventually, yeah, open something like a, a cafe that people can come out and hang out in. <laughs> all right. Well, congrats, guys. Thank you. Thank How you long much. does it take, by the way, to set all of this up? <laughs> two days. Uh, two, three two days. days. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Backwards and forward between our houses. Yeah. We're, we got there. <laughs> we're starting to get busy in there, so congrats, lads. Yeah, Bob. Really. And by the way, thank you very much. Cool, man. I just want to yeah, let you guys at home know none of these guys are virgins. <laughs> none of them. None I know, them. right? <laughs> 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 sorry, <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry. Right, well that was freaking awesome man, I'm happy for those guys. Like, they're all broke as a joke and yet they still got together sharing the same passion and pulled something like that off and it's only the beginning. They're gonna be doing that shit for a long time. Check them out people, I'm gonna leave the address down below. Thanks for watching guys. Stay jiggy, the better appreciate ya.